Hey, back again, episode 6 of Freestyle, Freak Style. Uh, this is Rocket Garden, and I'm here with Blank Tester and Beerda. Yo! Oh, uh, yeah. So, so you guys might know me from the other one, if you say the thing, so. and then uh, Be- Beard Hus, Beard Hus is one of our friends. Uh, I-, I think I was on um, one of the uh, um, commentary things for... Omega Skydive. Yeah, you did. Omega Skydive. One of those commentary things. Yeah, what are those commentary things? Whatever those are. So this is a game. Uh, this this game is kind of like uh, Mario, right? More like Mario than Downhill Domination was. Does he ever go Yahoo? No, you don't have power ups. Damn and, it. Um. It's the break of dawn here at the Rocket Garden. So wait, what is this game about? Motor, motocross. So it's, it's, it's about Roomba bikes? <laughs> <laughs> about what? Yeah, it's about Roomba bikes. <laughs> Roomba bikes. You know, <laughs> they go vroom and they're bikes. The type of vehicle that Beardo will never be able to use. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because he's like 500 pounds. <laughs> hey, he's at least 650. I'm also the streets ahead. God damn it. I, don't show up. I like how their necks kind of remind me of, um... Not giraffes. What's what's the animal I'm thinking of? Um, I don't know. A llama? Yeah, kind of like a llama. In those cutscenes. I don't know why they're all looking around like that. So, so you tell me that this game... Which is very much like Mario, is, uh, is, uh, hard-ish? First off, not very much like Mario. Second off, kind of a a weird amount of difficulty where, you know, you've heard of rubber banding, the AI always being only a couple seconds behind you. Yeah. So, if you mess up early on, no biggie, but if you mess up at the end, it's basically like... You've lost the race. Yeah, Tricky was like that. The uh, uh, the AI, the SSX Tricky, uh, the AI would speed up as you got farther ahead. Did it? Yeah, I, I, I didn't play Tricky that much. Um, it would speed up, but the uh, actual AI wouldn't be able to react to it. Yeah, and they like, so they just like fall down really fast. Yeah, you see the AI go off a ramp, start a trick, then fall down halfway through it. Nice. The AI doesn't really have that problem here. They can always stay right behind you, and somehow they can always get like a ton of points. And I'm sure you've covered this in one of the previous episodes, but the uh, the tricks are obviously a lot slower than uh, in uh, SSX or in a game like like that. These games, like it takes time for you to pull off these tricks and stuff. Uh, I'm, I haven't explained any of this to. Uh, uh, Mr. Groombity Bikes over here, uh, so this freakout stuff is, uh, completely new to Beardah, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I... You can kind of gather what's going on. I, 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 um, so the freakout, I, I assume you get more freakout, um, bonus, um, for the tricks that you do, so it's kind of, it's similar to Tricky in that way, that you pro is, is the freakout the boost? Yeah, Freak Out gives you unlimited boost, like you can't stop boosting. Okay. And also it blurs your screen, which is kind of a weird effect, especially when it doesn't really let you see where you're going. Yeah. And which also... Is the best, best thing ever. Only during Freak Out mode, or only when Freak Out mode is primed, do you ha- can you do the four-button signature mode. Okay, so is that like a signature move for a character, or what? Oh, that looked, that looked really fun, and painful, and fun. Yeah, there's uh, multiple signature moves per character, but only one per bike. Oh. Like, if, if you saw me do the mind How bender cool. earlier, and also... Is there a signature takeout? Because that guy looks like he's crying like a bitch. I should probably actually explain uh, the track. It's Yeah, this is... 
Without context, this track makes no. Well, yeah. actually, with context, I'm sure it won't make any sense either. So go ahead. Sort of weird because there's a couple giant shortcuts that would really put you ahead. Um, the first one is in that area back there with the ramp blocked off into thirds, kind of, yeah. and then an extra ramp moving back and forth, sorting, sort of adding more ramp to go off. More ramp. If you saw, there was a, a normal level that I took in the first lap, which just kind of was a super slow level where there really didn't seem like a lot of textures at all. I, I don't remember, but I... And that it, it's a very forgettable section. And then there was the two elevated tracks to the left and the right. Okay. And those led around to sort of the same jump into that... Uh, area it tossed me into kind of that hallway that the mouth of it was broken off into thirds as well and the top two of those go to a shortcut and the bottom one of those just leads you back out to the main track sure. so even though i was on the uh the shorter of the elevated walkways i had enough uh, of a jump stat to just glide into the shortcut dope and okay, so, so it's it's similar to like I don't know. It, it seems like it's for me the levels are huge. So like it, it looks like there's um oh what am I trying to say um like ow like there's multiple routes that you can take. Like I, I know you said something about a shortcut. Is it similar to like Midnight Club and that there's so many different routes? What you can take, or similar to Tricky, in that you know it's pretty much a set route, but there happens to be shortcuts that you can take. I think well, it's more like Tricky. Yeah, Midnight Club was an entire city. Um, yeah. So you could just basically uh, find your own line. Basically, this level has the most shortcuts out of all of them, like the most branching okay. paths. If if you bran if there's a branching path, it branches into like three or four more paths. Oh, okay. Like, okay. the area with all the large ramps that I rode on in the first lap has three of those sections right next to each other, and then that's one of the paths, and then the other path uh, has the two, uh, I guess, rockets you can jump on top of. You know, something that, that, you know, you say there's a whole bunch of paths, and it looks like there's a whole bunch of paths, right? And um, I'm looking at this, and... It seems like uh, uh, it. It seems kind of interesting. I, I think it's kind of interesting that even though there's a lot of paths to go, the uh, holy shit. Um, even though there's a lot of paths to go, the, the, uh, the, the game still knows who's in first and who's in second. Like in uh, sometimes, sometimes in games, uh, uh, especially of this era, they they would like when. And there were shortcuts. You wouldn't really know how to measure who was in first, who was in second. Yeah, and tricky so, is like that. So you'd see like you behind, you're behind, you're behind. Suddenly you rocket ahead to, to first place or something. Um, I remember the old Sonic, the 3D Sonic games, Sonic Adventure. The multiplayer used to do that all the time. Uh, if I would take a shortcut, the other player would look like they're in first. Holy okay, shit. actually, actually. Um... I haven't had to bring it up yet, but Freak Style is sort of in reverse uh, to those. Like, if you're taking branching paths, the game can kind of tell who's ahead. But oftentimes, I've been behind people. Like, I can see them, they're in front of me, I'm in, like, second or third place. And the game will say I'm in first, and it won't switch for, like, 20, 30 seconds. Really? Yeah. So I it's, like, zoom it's like over first. corrected. I can zoom into first... And they'll say I'm in like fifth or sixth, and it'll finally fix itself eventually. That's really strange. I am the master of the dirt bike. That voice acting is <laughs> spot on. <laughs> like, so oh, we man. have gone through these six race tracks in the game. And Woo! I'm glad we can be there the for all of them. For filling up his trick book. Actually, last episode, we unlocked another new outfit for doing 20 of his combos. I didn't get to say that. But now we have all of his outfits and all of his bikes, so we are ready for the back half of career mode. But first, 
a freestyle track where we're going to have to score score some big points. I'll see you then when we take on the crash pad. Uh, and you two will be there because we're doing it right after this. Will we? Yeah. He's bringing us along. Hooray! We get to go with. Yeah. More Vroombity bikes, please.